Hey everyone, this is Amrit and today I'm going to be talking about the problem we are all living with which is the driver shortage. We have a driver shortage, we all know that. And what is it gonna look like in 2021? I'm gonna break that down for you. Now, the problem is that we've been dealing with this problem that is trailing off from 2020. Uh, the problem is bigger, like driver shortage has been there, it's been there for decades now, but it has gotten worse after the whole big lockdown last year. Okay, and I made a special video about what the 2020 December looked like. If you wanna watch that video, I have also the link above it. But but I want to talk about what the 2021 looks like right now. See, the thing is, last year when uh, the COVID hit, most ports were kind of shut down, okay? Like the drage, like the container business kind of got shut down. And the drivers that worked in those industry actually came looking for jobs and the other industry, you know, like dry van, or reef or whatever it may be. So we had like an influx of drivers in say like March, April of, of 2020. So that was great and everybody was like liking it because you know, like trucking companies were all of a sudden getting drivers. But then what happened was the opposite. As soon as like we had the toilet paper rush, we had like people panicking to go to the grocery stores and stuff like that, the freight market went through the roof, right? Because uh, shippers were trying to keep up to keep the stocks, like, you know, the shelves not empty at stores. So they were moving a lot more freight, a lot more drivers were, were required in that time period. So all these trucking companies now got extra freight, they're expanding, they're growing, they were able to grow, and they were able to take all these drivers. Now though, the second tier that came in 2020, uh, that a lot of drivers who were at the verge, who were at the verge of retiring, they actually retired. Over 46,000 drivers retired last year in 2020, according to ATRI. And these, so now we have so many drivers that have left the industry. And that's just a, you know, like the fact that has been put on paper. I'm sure the number is way bigger if you really do the math and really drill down into what happened in the reality. A lot of drivers who were just about to retire, they just exited. And then we had the CDL schools at reduced capacity. So they weren't able to have as many drivers, you know, first they got shut down, then when they did get opened up, like later towards the end of the year or like at the beginning of 2021, there's still capacity at half capacity. So they're not able to produce as many drivers into the market. So you have like this gap that's getting wider, 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 like people leaving and then not too many people entering the industry. Now granted, the trucking companies, most trucking companies are looking for experienced guys. So these new drivers that are coming into the market, they don't really have much places to go except like the big carriers who wanna take like the new drivers and train them and you know, like be with them for a couple months or years. So now everybody wants these experienced drivers, which is what we're living with right now. The other big problem that 2021 is facing, 4,000 carriers were being registered every month, new carriers, okay? Now, with the freight market being so hot, like the spot load market is like uh, so hot right now, you're getting crazy rates uh, to move the freight because we're still in that, you know, desperate mode of like keeping the shelves stock, shippers are very eager to move this. Now we have the vaccine rollout, so we need even more trucks. So there is so much freight right now to haul at good paying freight that most of these guys have gone out, bought their own trucks, gotten their own authority. We're seeing upward of 5,000 new carrier registrations happening for month after month after month. And I think in last, um, in December or no November, we saw 7,500 new carrier registration, you know? So it's like a one man guy who's now becoming engine owner op and they're running their own freight because they're making all this good money. The problem is this is how the market will look like 
the entire 2021. Those are the projections. The freight is not gonna slow down as much and it will keep or it will stay like this. Maybe by like the end of first quarter in like 2021, we'll see like things getting better because the freight market won't be as high. And you know, time is a grim reaper, right? So it's gonna wipe out all the guys who just got like one truck and they were thinking like, okay, they're gonna make all this cash and good for them. Like I wish them all the best, but I'm just saying like that this golden, uh, holy grail is not gonna you know last too long it will it will go away in uh, in the near future and my prediction is in my personal opinion it will be like somewhere around like the first end of like first quarter a uh, couple months of like 2022 so this year what you want to do as a trucking business is keep building your driver pool not too many drivers are going to apply to you and i'll tell you what i mean by driver pool not too many drivers are applying because everybody's poaching everybody's like fighting for these drivers you may not see like a tremendous growth in 2021 but it's okay to at least hold your ground like i see and talk to so many trucking companies who have trucks open and that's it's normal to have trucks open. Like any fleet that I have spoken to, they have trucks open. You know, like uh, there's not an influx of drivers by any means. There's there's a massive shortage. There's a big gap that will remain throughout 2021. May get like a little bit better by the end of the year, but it's not going to get. Um, it's not getting any better in like next couple weeks or months or whatever it may be. Uh, next year, you can expect to get it better. So what you can do as a tra uh, trucking business is keep being out there your cost per hire will look more than what you're used to seeing but this is the way the business and the driver market is running right now you can't do really much about it all you can do is use this time to maintain your current fleet size and get ready for 2021 and keep generating applications okay once this whole thing is over um, in the next year, you will have a big pool of drivers because you've been, uh, you've been promoting yourself, you've been advertising, you've been doing a lot of stuff. So drivers are applying, but they may not be necessarily coming on board. You at least have their info and keep them nurtured. You know, like send them an SMS, send them like an email. Uh, you know, I don't, I wouldn't say like call them or anything, but like just keep them on your email list and stuff like that. So they know about you. They, they know that you exist and keep them updated to your updates. Don't panic because nothing is gonna change in this panic mode right now. Uh, but just get ready for the end of the year or the beginning of 2022, and you'll have good drivers. There will be some drivers that will be coming to your business versus where you sit right now, where everybody, each one of us is just freaking out. Awesome, so this is it. This is a driver shortage that most trucking companies are facing in 2021. I'm literally on the ground working with these fleets and knowing what's happening in their lives every single day. So I'm sharing this real data with you. Hope you liked it. If you did, then click the like button, comment and let me know if you wanted to learn more, if you want something uh, from me that I want you, you want me to share or show you about how to find drivers for your trucking business there's a certain element that you can't understand put that in the comment I personally read them and reply to them and go and hit that subscribe button with the notification bell so next time when I produce or uh, make a great video it comes directly to you and you don't miss out on any good info awesome this is Amber signing off and I will see you in the next video